Hey everybody, and welcome back, Falcon, Zafal's Diaries, you know the drill at this point. Welcome back, we're doing relatively good this run, I mean, we've had really good success actually securing down this location, which we're calling our home for now. We have Paul, who's been really fucking amazing at breaching and assaulting. Right now, he's kind of like in the breach of his lifetime right now. He's in this area trying to get a few supplies for us, potentially snacks, but unlikely because we're almost out of food. And that's what kind of worries me at this point. Everything else I think we're doing good, and it's just the fact that we're really out of food, which worries me. So, um, Paul's gonna continue doing his breach. Over here, Eric is gonna be resting for this turn. Kayla's gonna snipe zombies. I think at this point, we're pretty much done sniping zombies, though. Even though it kind of maybe has been helping me out with Paul, but... I think we're running out of, uh, ammunition really, really soon here, and that kind of worries me. So, instead, I'm gonna have her not do that. Kayla, you're gonna stop sniping for now. Jack, you continue barricading, though. Kayla, can you modify items only at two? Watch for zombies. Just have, let's have you just watch for zombies for now, and maybe even signal survivors with a flashlight. Maybe somebody else can come and join us instead of us trying to go out there and find somebody else. I think that kind of works out, so let's end our turn here and see what happens. <clears throat> Alrighty, Paul was still trying to clear out the remaining zombies inside the store. The small mob had gathered outside the place. Most of the fighting took place in the first storeroom. Paul brashed, th uh, bashed three zombies with a pistol, but he got them all. Man, this guy killed zombies with the blood of his pistol, so that actually works out pretty good. Uh, Jack heavily fortified a window leading to the attic. <laughs> That's the one that was being attacked by the floating zombie last time around. Yeah, if you, if you, if you guys don't remember the, the floating zombie, I mentioned, like, apparently our attic was actually being attacked, our secured attic, um, entrance. And I was wondering, like, how does a fucking zombie even get up to the attic, um, quote-unquote entrance to, like, at least the window or whatever? It's like, what is he, like, flying now? Is he floating in midair? That'd be kind of terrifying. But whatever, man. It's just how it rolls in this game. So Paul is done. Thank you, Paul, my friend. So now Paul is going to have to come back. And you're going to apparently breach into the house that we own. And you're going to take um, everything that we found over here that was actually good. So take the handgun. Take the uh, millimeter round. Take the hardened machete. And now with the rest of what we have left over, I think we take um, snacks. A lot of them. I think I'm going to take these over the cooking ingredients, to be honest with you. Like, of course, the nourishment isn't as good as that, but... We'll be able to take 16 snacks as opposed to, like, you know, limiting ourselves to some ingredients here. Um, maybe... I could leave one pistol round behind and take myself a cooking ingredient like this. I don't want to leave the silenced handgun or machete, and that's pretty much it. That's all we can do, unfortunately. So we'll have him come back, and then, um, the rest of my people are up and running. Erica seems to be doing relatively good. It seems like her injuries don't seem as crucial as they once were, maybe? I mean, she still has a broken left arm, but I mean, she hasn't been slowing her down, so that's I guess what I'm trying to say here. Now, Paul could hang out here and clean these corpses. I'm not sure what that would really do for us, though. So I don't think that's actually really useful. So yeah, you come back, and then back over here in the house, we're going to have Erica is still resting. And Jack's going to continue barricading. Are we almost secured here? Yeah, we only have two more places to fortify, and we should be done. And then we could probably start working on the fence. And, um, Kayla will just continue to signal for some survivors. I like it. Alrighty, Erica, Jack, and Kayla waited for their moon to let Paul inside. Kayla ate a snack, barricades leaning to study and living room were attacked, but they held firm. Jack broke a coffee table into two wooden barricades. He heavily fortified a window leaving to study. I think that leaves one more fortification left to go. And we'll be pretty much done. We could probably start setting up that fence, so, um... I'm really liking our chances of survival. It's just basically a matter of keeping ourselves fed at this point and actually expanding soon. Which I plan to, but, you know, we have to go, like, you know, step by step before we actually, I guess, jump balls into an area. I think getting our home base secured is the first step before we actually expand out through the rest of the map. So, Erica is still resting and Paul is tinkering. So, let's see, Paul could probably go back to modifying items for... Hmm. Good question. Good question. I guess we just continue doing assault for now. That might actually help us down in the future. Especially once we have, like, a lot of our people doing an assault. Right now we've been only sending Paul out, but... At one point it's gonna have to be more than Paul to actually, like, like say we have to assault the hospital or the police station and there's like 23 zombies in there plus. We need more than just Paul actually taking care of it, so... Yeah, I think we, um, focus on that for now. Jack will continue to barricade. One more last entrance, and then Kayla just continues to flash people down for help. See what happens. Paul is modifying a pair of brass knuckles. Jack ate a snack. A barricade blocking the living room was attacked, but it held firm. Jack broke a bathroom 
mirror into six glass barricades. Glass barricades, huh? We only have one more piece of furniture left. I hope we have enough to fortify the um, area. If not, we're gonna have to break down some of our shitty items too. Although we do have a lot of scrap, actually. Used in modifying and trap making. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Unless, like... No. Okay, never mind. Not sure what I was really thinking about there. Erica's back, though. She's done resting. A lot of zombies over here, too. So, Jack, you just need to fortify one more area. Paul continued with the assault. Mm hmm. Don't patrol outside. Can't snipe. So, you and Erica flash for survivors. You guys seem to get along pretty good, and you're both threes at it anyway. Maybe both of you will be able to get more help that way. Paul briefly stopped modifying items, picked up a carving knife, and hacked a zombie in the left arm through a secured window. Paul has almost finished modifying a pair of brass knuckles. Kayla reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies. Uh, we heavily fortified a window leading to the living room. Jack stopped barricading because all entrances are now fortified. Excellent. So, now that that's done with, we could probably move into... Let's see. We could build fortifications. We could snipe zombies around his location. Let's see, build fortifications. We could probably, I don't know, what do we want to do? Do you want to do a watchtower, a fence, a sniper nest? I was always thinking a fence would probably be good to keep like zombies from actually coming in. But a watchtower might just let us actually get a good view on areas down the road, right? Sniper nest wouldn't be a bad idea either. I'm thinking maybe a watchtower. And Paul is apparently the best one at building that. Even though Jack is a carpenter, that's actually surprising. But the problem is that... Yeah, Jack isn't good, so... Erica would have to take over modifying items. If that was gonna happen. Actually, Erica could, um... Isn't that bad at building. So how about we do Erica off of that? We'll have... Erica build a watchtower. We have Jack still uh, going to have idle him. We're going to have him idle now. So that's actually going to be a little bit worrisome because I'm not sure what else to do with him now at this point. He's not good at patrolling. Barricade entrances quickly. I mean, we've already barricaded everything. So what's the point? I'm not going to have him make any noise right now. Not good at that. You could watch zombies better than Kayla. So I guess we'll have him watch for or signal survivors down. Now, Kayla, we could probably, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. What do we do with Kayla? <laughs> Go back to sniping? I don't want to use, like, what little ammunition I have left. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess you could might as well help out with the watchtower. You're not good at it, like Erica is. Not that Erica's amazing at it, but you're a two, so there might be a little bit of a trouble there, because, you know, when you have, like, a different level people, they kind of, you know, don't really like it, but I have nothing else for Kayla to do at the moment, so... Might as well have her build a watchtower. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. So let's forward time here. Uh, Kayla ate a snack. Erica and Kayla made no progress in the watchtower. A barricade blocking the main bedroom was attacked, but it held firm. Erica and Kayla become frustrated with each other. Yeah, yeah, that was going to happen. Okay. The, um... We're kind of messing around with the... How people are getting along here. So how about we do this? Let's spread a rumor now. We'll do, let's see, Erica is... What is Erica all about? She's a cleaner. You know, they're both cleaners, so... I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking, I'm thinking Kayla. Kayla was a activist, she was an activist and she was a member. She was a member of the Loco State for Concerned Cleaners, Carpenters and Athletes. So we're looking at a carpenter and a police officer, huh? So, um, firefighters, mechanics, chefs, athletes. Paul, what else did you do? Police officer, high school education, comes from middle class background. Huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't think he has much for Paul in reality. But uh, I guess that's going to cover most of them too, though, huh? So, we'll, yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, sure, athletes. Okay. So, this is to get um, Kayla and Erica hopefully getting along a little bit better. And we'll continue time. A rumor spread around the group, apparently Kayla was something of an activist. She was a member of the State Association for Concerned Cleaners, Carpenters, and Athletes. Have you ever heard about that? Like, somebody's concerned for the cleaners? Like, you know... How do I reach these cleaners? 
<laughs> Whatever. On hearing the rumor Jack became closer to Kayla, Paul and Erica were indifferent about it. Ah, but Erica was the one that I was kind of aiming for here, man. Jack ate a snack, Paul created a reinforced pair of brass knuckles that is now better at assaulting and breaching locations. Erica and Kayla made no progress in the watchtower. Yeah, they're having too many issues together. So I can't have that happening anymore because they're going to end up fucking, well, they already just about hate each other. So, um, unfortunately, my women cannot get along together. Let me get a bit of coffee here. And by my women, I'm not being, like, you know, misogynist here. They're not my women. I'm just saying that, like, my ladies, they're not, you know, getting together. I guess they're kind of battling over who the, um, I guess, uh, Queen Bee might be. So, Erica, you continue doing that. Kayla, I'm sorry, but I just have nothing else for you at the moment. Um, so Watchtower needs to start getting built here. I wonder if we even have the supplies for it. That might just be the case, although... Because I don't think we have enough barricades, right? Doesn't seem like it. Does it require barricades? I would imagine it does require barricades, right? What about our supplies here? Is there something I could kind of break down? Into barricades. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doesn't really seem like it. Eh, whatever. So, yeah, I guess Kayla's gonna have to be idle for now. There's really not much I can have her really do. So, I mean, I guess she could probably, might as well just barricade stuff in the background. If anything gets, I guess, hit, she could just kind of, um, refortify it or whatever. That's my train of thought here. Paul, I, with Paul, I'm just about... I think done with the modifying of assault stuff in reality. I might just actually have him do the watchtower. We'll see. Let me forward this time one more time and see what happens. Oh, ho, ho, Clayton Peterson. Oh, he's a musician, though. They're useless. Oh. Another survivor has appeared, has approached the group. He has a broken arm. Despite that, he looks perceptive and focused. Paul, Erica, Kayla, can't see a reason why he shouldn't be in the group. Oh, I have a reason. He has a broken arm. We already have one of them. You know what? It hurts to do it, it really does. I'm sorry, Clayton. Nothing against you. You're gonna have to kind of, uh, go on your way, my friend. Uh, <laughs> I assure you, there is no sort of racial, I guess, discrepancy or any sort of racial prejudice while I made this decision. Believe me, that's not the case. I've accepted plenty of the African Americans into my group, and that's perfectly fine. It's a completely free, like, group of survivors, you know, everybody's equal. It wasn't because of a racial thing, it's just had a broken arm. We already had one person with a broken arm, so, you know, I can't have two of them. And by of them, I mean, you know, broken arm people, not? Let's not jump to conclusions here. Just throwing it out there. Erica and Kayla's constant bickering is getting everyone down. Jack ate a snack. Erica made no progress in the watchtower. Kayla stopped barricading because all the entrances are fortified. Paul is getting started on the crossbow. Kayla washed herself in the shower. And I'm sorry, but we rejected this guy. He had food, though, man. That was probably a bad idea that I think about it, because we don't really have that much food. We have a few snacks, actually. I'm sorry, Clayton. And again, no... <laughs> I feel so bad rejecting a person away in a zombie apocalypse. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, I just, just can't, can't really afford you coming in right now. I'm sorry. I'm aware there's like 70 zombies out there, and you probably made quite a big of a journey to get over here, but... Eh. That broken arm. You probably got that broken arm trying to get to us and, you know, join our group and, like, help us out, but... Eh. Eh, it's a broken arm. I'm sorry. I mean, I feel like a total dick doing that. <laughs> but, come on, man. You know what? It's fucking, uh... Only the strong survive. That's how it is, right? Alrighty, so, Eric, I'm not sure. You're not even doing shit in this fucking watchtower. After Paul is done with the crossbow, I think I'm gonna have him switch over to the watchtower instead. Kayla's idol. Um, okay, okay, okay. I guess she's gonna have to continue being idle. There's not really much else I can really do with her right now. Okay, we'll see what happens. Polly the snack. Erica made a minor progress in the watchtower. I guess she made something. Jack reported that the house is surrounded by a small number of zombies. Paul has made some progress on modification of crossbows. Kayla ate a snack. Paul briefly stopped modifying items, picked up a fire axe, hacked a zombie in the head. Getting dark outside. Erica made minor progress. Erica ate a snack. Kayla tried unsuccessfully to convince others to relax and have a drink. She's disappointed with everybody. Erica broke a dead laptop in three plastic pieces. She made no progress on the watchtower. Paul created a recoilless crossbow. It is now better at assaulting and breaching locations. Okay, so now that we've done that, Erica, you stop building that. Paul, you stop assaulting. You go into building the watchtower now. Um, Kayla is apparently trying to get everybody intoxicated. Now, Kayla's being kind of a bitch in reality, to be honest with you. So, for now, 
Kayla's playing solitaire. Yeah, you keep playing solitaire. You need to kind of relax here. Erica, you are going to go and actually... You go into modifying items meanwhile, and you're going to modify them for... I guess, um... Barricading? Engineering? I feel like we're pretty good on assault stuff now. I'm thinking more than likely like something like, what about demolition? Have we ever done demolition? Let's find out what demolition is all about. I'm not sure what the hell it means by demolition. I mean, I know what demolition is, but I'm not sure how it stands in the game itself. I've never really tried it, but you know, it might be interesting. So you do that, Paul in the Watchtower, Kayla's gonna play Solitaire this round. Okay, Eric is modifying a fire axe. Kayla ate a snack. Paul made minor progress in the watchtower. Kayla finished playing a game of solitaire. She says she feels mentally refreshed. There you go. Maybe you'll stop being a bitch now, huh? So now that she's done, we could have her... Mm. You could watch um, with Jack. You're not too bad at it as well. See if you guys could draw in somebody that's actually useful. Somebody without a broken hand or arm would be pretty nice. I mean, we already have one of those. Alrighty, and let's continue going forward. Paul, Erica, Jack, and Kayla ate four snacks. Jack says he's feeling secure. There's nothing left to break down, so Paul stopped building fortifications. That's not good. Erica has barely made any progress on the modifications to the fire axe. Kayla reported that the house is surrounded by small zombies. Paul watched himself already. So, we're almost out of food. And we have nothing left to actually continue our watchtower. So, we are kind of in a tough spot now. Especially because it is only 9 p.m. So, going out right now would be really a bad idea, but... Ugh. It's still also... Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not too thrilled about this. I'm not too thrilled about it at all. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we have to kind of uh, take a little bit of gander over here. So, I am going to send... Not Paul. Even though Paul's good at it, I can't afford Paul. I'm going to have to send, um, Kayla, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kayla. You kind of brought it on yourself by being such a bitch. Although, she doesn't have... Actually, Kayla does seem to get on... You know, Erica's the one, really, huh? Alrighty, Erica. Kayla has been a bitch, but you are kind of the one with the broken arm that we could kind of, um, you kind of expendable right now, I'm sorry to say. So you're gonna go over to this house. You're gonna investigate it. I will let you take the, um... Watching for zombies, huh? I kind of would like that. Let's see, spotting one, four, five, and two. Searching, it's better for searching, quietness, spotting, one, spotting, one, searching, four, yeah, alright, so you take the flashlight with you, don't take the backpack, I can't afford that right now, you take the flashlight and you will take yourself, maybe even, I'll let you take a baseball bat, I can't really afford anything good on you because you are hurt, and why maybe one bandage, right, there you go, so you go investigate, see what's up, now back home, you guys continue. I guess Erica's gonna go investigate. I guess what is Kayla doing? Paul? I guess Paul's gonna have to go back to modifying since we can't um, continue the watchtower anymore, which is unfortunate. So I'm gonna go back to basically working on... I guess barricading would be a bad idea. But neither would spotting. So let's go with some spotting action, especially once we start doing some investigating to breach into other areas. I think spotting items would be pretty useful. So we'll do that. And then Kayla's gonna be idle. That's not good. Erica's gonna actually, or Kayla's gonna actually. Yeah, you might as well just fucking hang out with Jack over here. Ah, oh, I hate kinda, I really hate not having much to do with these people right now. Cause I'm so limited on supplies is the problem. Kayla could not find a, uh, could not find a flashlight and stop trying to attract survivors. Oh, that's unfortunate. We, we gave the other one to uh, Erica to go search. Paul is modifying a flashlight. The zombie wandered too close to a fortified window. Kayla grabbed the fire axe and sliced his right arm off. Erica returned from a recon. The house at 7 Grumon Drive is a small building with around 6 rooms. It has 3 doors and 9 windows leading in from the outside. Erica scattered around the perimeter of the house using a flashlight. She kind of zero zombies outside. She peered through the window but did not see any zombies inside. Okay, so possibly nothing in there. Which isn't a bad thing. However, the nighttime is what worries me about it. How do I feel about this? Not too good. 
Not too good. Alrighty. So here's what we do. Kale's a decent enough sniper, but instead I'm going to have Jack snipe? Jack's not too bad at it. Alright, so here's what we do. Jack, you stop doing this. Kayla, you try to um, signal survivors. Sniping. Jack, you come and snipe around... What is it that we're doing here? Seven Groom on Drive. So, Jack, you snipe around seven Groom on Drive. Okay, so you do that. It is nighttime, so you probably won't get too many eyes out there, but it's something at the very least for now. So you snipe over there. Kayla is going to signal survivors. Paul is going to finish that. And then I'm going to also have... No, you can't patrol Erica. Erica, can you modify items? Eh, not too great, but you kind of can. All right, so you modify right there. And then I'm going to have Paul patrol outside and report back. All right, Erica's modifying a flashlight. Erica and Jack ate two snacks. Uh, Jack briefly stopped sniping zombies, picked up a fire axe, and chopped a zombie in the left foot through a fortified window. All right. I saw zombies up there. kind of worries me. Well. Okay. I'm thinking um, no more sniping. Save some ammunition. We're going to send probably two people over here. And I have a feeling I'm going to probably have to send, end up sending... Well, Jack seems to be a good sniper. I really... If I'm left with only Erica and Kayla, I think I'm fucked. So I can't really expend both Paul and Jack. Paul is obviously a go-to because if we want any chance to survive, Paul has to be involved. I'm thinking we take Kayla, just because um, she won't slow Paul down as much as Erica would, because Erica has the broken arm. I mean, even though Erica is expendable because of the broken arm, I think that I don't want to risk her being expendable on Paul's, um, you know, overall well-being. So, we go Paul, and we go Kayla. And we're going to assault this time around, and just kind of clear what's around there. So we're going to assault, and we're going to take... Um, how do we take this here? We're going to go with, uh, we have a machete, a hardened machete. We're going to take hardened machete. We will also take, we need two melee weapons and two, hopefully, like, long-range weapons. <laughs> Apologies there. Okay, so I'm thinking hardened machete for sure. Along with, uh, hmm. I guess we have no choice but to use the brass knuckles. What happened to my cricket bats and everything that I had before? That are still on... I had like a baseball bat and cricket bats. I'm not sure what happened to those guys. All right, so hard machete and reinforced brass knuckles. And then we also need a few guns. Um, so I'm thinking not crossbow. Well, I guess we have no choice but the handgun and the recoil of submachine gun because that's the only thing we have actually ammunition for right now. So let's go ahead and take like roughly 20, I would say. That'll work out pretty good. Maybe 25. Okay, so we have our weapons, we have our rounds. I'm not going to take the backpack with me. So I'm thinking we do that. We also take um, one terrifying flashlight. And uh, perhaps even a crowbar. And one fire axe. Okay, so you guys assault. Erica is going to focus on spotting capability items. Jack's idle, so Jack is going to... Fuck. Jack, I guess you just continue signaling for survivors. Alrighty, and we're off. At midnight, no less. How terrifying. Kayla and Paul assault the location. Paul and Kayla open fire into three zombies lurking around outside. They took down one of them. The remaining two zombies outside were wiped out after they moved in for some close combat. Uh, there are no more zombies lurking around outside the house. The house is clear of zombies for now. Sweet. Good job, guys. Erica ate a snack. Kayla and Paul returned. Erica is still trying to get started in the flashlight. Kayla is feeling slightly fit after doing some exercise. So that was actually really good. We actually assaulted relatively well. Now, of course, we still have to breach, and that's a whole different subject in itself. But at the very least, um, clearing out what's around there is um, an upside to what we can do. Something in the next episode, we definitely do breach. And um, again, we need food. And what else do we need? It's I think it's really food and, I guess, ways to barricade or at least build our watchtowers. So we're going to have to be doing a lot of hauling back and forth. But we'll see how that kind of goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
And um, we're doing really good so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Let me get some tips. Let me know in the comments how I'm doing, what you guys want to see more of. And um, if you have anything that you want to kind of add, be sure to let me know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.